Hey you guys, what is up? Jen here. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited today. Uh, I have got my new lapel, my new microphone, and I just wanted to see like how crisp it is, if it's working good. Um, and tomorrow I'm going to be filming an Instagram picked my makeup video. And so I want you guys to go over there, vote. My handle is J80Khill. And um, let me know what you want me to get ready with. So right now, um, there's only one thing that's not like clear and sure what you guys want, and that's the contour kit. So I need somebody to go break that 50-50 up, all right? So if you're new to my channel, thank you for being here. You can be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. And so do me a favor, and if you want to, subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring the bell so you get notifications when I upload a video. And if you're not new to my channel, you the shit, welcome back. Okay? Okay. Wait, I can do it better. Okay. I did it. Okay. So anyways, um, I've done my face, and good lord. Um, and so I wanted to, I really couldn't make up my mind to be honest if I wanted to use the Huda palette or, um, maybe the Kat Von D palette. And then I pulled out my Just Peachy palette too, because I was like, I don't know what to use, but I want to like rotate my palette. So I'm using all of them because it's a lot. It's a mess. Let me just show you. Let me just show you what a fucking mess it is. Just check it out. I know, right? Just so much. Let's put you back. Okay, here we are. Here we go. Woo woo! So, I've already kind of like set the eyeshadow. I just need to decide what I'm going to do. I feel like everybody's like woot wooting about Huda Beauty. And I know this isn't the new palette, but I'm just going to go ahead and use it because fuck it anyway. Um, and I'm going to use some Unique brushes, some Sephora brushes, an e.l.f. brush. Typically the ones I use the most are my Unique Blending, my 18 Pro Shader um, by oh, Sephora, Little Smudge Rush by e.l.f., and then really that's it. I mean, I don't use a whole lot of brushes. Sometimes I use my Luxie brushes, like this angled one for blending and ish. So yeah. All right, you guys ready? You guys ready? Okay, so I'm wearing this dress today that's got all these different colors in it. And I feel like maybe we should stick with like the oranges that are on here. So I set my eye with desert sand and now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Eden. Now I do my eyes like with my eye open because I have a hooded eye, so it's like super special um, and you really have to know yourself, your eye, and what looks good to be able to do makeup on a hooded eye. Um, so there's a lot of times that I have to like look in the mirror and look straight forward because the mirror I have in front of me is like it's kind of slanted, so it looks I look a little bit down when I look at it like this, and so it's not a clear view of my eyes. So that's why I use my Kat Von D. Now Jeffree Star is coming out with the new like popsicle shaped ones. And I want one of those so bad. I also want the new makeup bag because it's beautiful. I would just carry it like as my purse. Do you guys like the Jeffree Star stuff? Are you a fan of Jeffree Star like I am? What's the tea? Spill it. All right, just going over here with Eden again. And we're just kind of doing this as the transition color I'm bringing up highest because it's the color that's gonna peek out from all the other ones. And you can see once I open my eye, I haven't even gotten in here. So we're just gonna go in there with Eden again, and we'll just close the eye and bring it back up. And same thing for the other side. So that's the trick to hooded eyes. There's nothing wrong with them. It's just that we don't have as much lid space, you know? So it kind of sucks sometimes, like if you want to wear a wing or things like that, but other than that, I would say I like my eye shape, and sometimes certain eyeshadow looks would look better on me than other people, and that's just because I figured out my eye shape, and so now I know what to do. There are a few people um, at my local Sephora, the ladies that do my makeup because I'm a Rouge member. Um, I get free makeovers, so I schedule them, um, you know, just for fun, and 
go get facials and stuff. Which tomorrow, um, I was supposed to have my makeup done because it's my three year anniversary with my partner. We are engaged. We have been since October the 10th, um, like almost three years ago, like two and a half years ago or something. But we don't really tell anybody because she is really scared of like her family completely like shutting her out. But I have my own feels about that. Um, if people are going to shut you out because you're you, well then they're not your tribe anyway. But that's just my opinion. Trust me, I've had my fair share of shutouts from my family. So uh, I basically ride solo besides my kids and my dad and like you know, part of his family, but like, that's it. Yeah, it's been a really rough year, just putting it out there, but not all the way, you know what I mean? Yeah. Anyways, okay, so the next color that I want to go in with, I think, is going to be, uh, Blazing. I just feel like of all the colors in this palette, that's the closest to the color in my dress, so I'm going to go in with this. And I'm going to lift my eye up and go deep into that crease because the idea is that you want to deepen it and make it look like it's, you know, dimensional. That's the key, dimension. So I have to be really careful with this when I bring it up, that I don't bring it up too high and that I don't, you know, drown out the other transition color. I like these, but I think probably my favorite eyeshadows, like the formula, the wear, like everything about them is going to have to be Jeffree Star. And I have a Natasha Denona palette. I like it, but I'm telling you that Jeffree Star's eyeshadows are just the shit. They're just so good. Like I can't get over it. And I don't get his PR. I don't know him. I've never talked to him. I mean, Twitter, I guess. But that's not, like, really talking to someone. You know what I mean? So, I have no affiliation whatsoever. Um, I just really like his shit. And I got the first palette, the Blood Sugar palette. And I cannot wait to get thirsty. Like, that is going to be the best. And I got a dupe of Beauty Killer, which I gotta say, I should have got the original one. Um, but I just feel like, you know, you know, anyway, so we're just going to keep going here and we're just going to keep building until we get these little guys even and we're doing pretty good. I need just a little bit more color like in the crease right here and then we'll just blend that out. I'll just blend it. Um, I think like one look that I would want to do, if at all possible, would be like a cut crease. I just feel like with my eye and having to like make the illusion of a crease it just isn't going to be as cute as what other people's are. So I just haven't gone there yet. Um, you know, you know, I'm going to take my little smudge brush and go down here with some of that blazing. Just get these two connected. And I like this little brush because it's so precise. It's not big, it's not fluffy, you don't have to worry about it like getting places you don't want it. It's lovely. Alright. And, you know, I always feel like I need another color, like one step uh, darker to do like out here on the edges. But I just feel like I don't know what that is. Maybe a brown, but I feel like I've been doing brown a lot, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it because I feel like OUD is like the next closest thing that would probably work as far as like darker. I thought about amber, I just feel like maybe it's not, maybe it's just not. <sighs> I don't know, what do we think? amber or yeah we're gonna have to go brown because it's not gonna work I was thinking about maybe busting out the peachy palette for a second let's get a gander at this one and see if we have another slightly oranger darker color but that's a negative hmm we'll just go with brown all right we're just not gonna overthink this today but I am going to go in with my Pro Shader brush when I do this. I'm going to keep it a little bitty. 
and I'm gonna go right here and we're gonna do a little bit down here and then we're just gonna take what's extra on our brush and kind of pat it up because we don't need a whole lot of color to give that extra little lift we just need a little bitty bit and I mean little bitty bit all right and that's why I use my little bitty shader brush now I have another one that I like that's from Sephora I only have a couple of their brushes but of course it's not like right here for me to grab it and where did it even go Anyways, I ain't about to use it right now, so I'm going to let it go, but it's really cute. It's kind of got like a pointy tip, and it's perfect for like the little hooded eye movement you got here. So yeah. Alright. Now, we've given it just a little bit more depth, and it really does make a big difference. But you have to be like super careful with your eye, and you have to really know yourself, and like what you can work with, if that makes sense. This was a very impromptu video today. I was like super excited about having my microphone, as you guys can tell. And I'm going to be doing the DIY uh, ring light in the next day or two. I'm actually, um, my anniversary is tomorrow, and my wife loves me so much that she went and uh, she got me this really cute, like, camcorder that comes with like a little tripod, and it was so cheap, you guys. Like, I'm so excited that it wasn't like a two, three, four, five hundred dollar camera because I know a lot of people on YouTube use these crazy outlandish cameras, but this one is like night vision and um, it's just got some cute little, um, what do you call it? I didn't mean to call that cheap. I don't ever want my wife to think that I thought she got me something cheap. What I mean is, is that it's not a $500 fucking Canon camera, but it's cute. It's got all the same qualities and it's just going to be so fucking fabulous. But I really wanted to be able to put it on the tripod and have a good microphone on it and just like record the DIY video instead of having to have someone hold the camera. Because I told my son, I was like, listen, he has to do like a volunteer chore every week to get his volunteer bag. Um, with the money in it and so I told him I'm like listen your volunteer chore this week is um, to hold the camera while your mom does a DIY ring light <laughs> and he was like really mom and I'm like hex yes you love your mother you want to help her all right so I can see when I go like this that I just need a little bit more like right here and it's not a whole lot all right and I'm just going to bring that like that and then I'm going to wipe out my unique blending brush and I'm just going to blend it like this. Okay, and I'm going to wipe it out again because I don't want to transfer too much color to the other side. And there we go again. And we just blend it, blend it, blend it. I have too much light on this side, which is why I'm making another DIY ring light so I can have one over here on top of this little stand because the daylight is over here coming in and there's nothing coming in over here so I have to make it even um, because I get my makeup uneven thinking that it's not right and it's just the light. So okay, now we are moving to right here on the lid and the coffee pot's done and my coffee's gonna be cold so I'm gonna have to reheat it like in the microwave and I just wanted fresh brewed coffee but I got to chit chatting and push the record button and dun 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 here we are. All right, so um, out of all of these colors here, I feel like I wanna go with this one. Um, I just really like the colors, the flex, and I feel like it goes best with what's here. Um, I thought about like this one, but I just feel like mm, it's too light. Like if it's too light on my hand, then it's gonna be too light on my eyeball. So there's that one, and that's the one I'm gonna wear. It's called Cosmo, as in not the drink, because I don't drink, all right? I just want to blend that out some more. 
I'm going to go in before I do that though and I'm going to go in with my Am Amrezy highlighter and I'm going to use this little brush right here and I'm just going to go right here. I've been using the white from the Jeffree Star palette underneath the eyebrow for the last couple of like eye looks, last couple of days. It's just worked really well. But today I'm feeling super blingy and shiny and so I went there. Um, let's see. We're going to need to get our Max Fix Plus out here. We're going to use the same shader brush. And I don't spray it really big. I just get it on there and get it wet. And then I'm going to go in with... <gasps> Where did it go? Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm always digging for something. Okay, so Sephora made these. Um, they are cooling matted eye primers and this is matte beige 05 and I like it because of the little brush on it it's so convenient and my local Sephora lady Brittany um, turned me on to this and I really like it now for this purpose though um, I don't use it like for my regular eye primer I prime my eyes with my regular eye primer and that is my unique um, primer and now I'm like sitting here holding my lid way up oh god oh gosh okay this is not supposed to be put on with the brush I don't think but we're here and we're doing it no we're not it's falling all over my face so maybe we're gonna try this another way we're gonna go in here with the finger since I don't have nails and we're just gonna set this and try not to get it in my fucking eye. Okay. I don't know that we're having a lot of luck not getting it in my eye though. It's uh, going places I didn't really want it to be. And that's okay, we're gonna fix it. And we're going to go in here with Belay's again. And we're just going to transition this out. All right, and then we're going to go in with the dark brown again on the very end. And just kind of blend it. Just blend it. Alright, and the only thing that a fan brush is good for is removing the fallout from your eyeshadow. I literally don't use it for anything else. Alright, and we're just going to press here. I feel like it has just gone everywhere, but we're just going to push through. Alright, live and learn. We'll do the next one better. Other eye. I have like so much extra skin, it's just crazy. Maybe that's the mistake I made last time. Okay, now we're going to go in with the finger again because we had more success that way. This stuff really moves around in the pan, it's like loose glitter. And they packed it in there very, very... Um, what do they call it when, like, somebody tricks you? Well, that's what they did. They tricked me into thinking that this was something else. Okay. I'm using my unique cream shadow brush to kind of push this in and set it. Just because I want it to adhere to that and not really move around. I don't have glitter glue and to be honest I don't think I would use it anyway because it's so annoying. But I really like it. It's kind of a bitch to work with. Um, but I like the color because it's so fucking rad. I mean it just looks really good. So then we're going to go back in with our shader brush again. If I can find it in this heap of shit. Alright. And we're going to go back to Blaze. We're going to go on the very end of that, and then we're going to go into our dark brown, and we're going to go to the very end of that. 
Okay, and then we're gonna blend it in. And I blend from the outside in and then kind of pat it back and forth. And we'll make it blend really nicely like that. I really want blaze to be kind of seen right there. The struggle is 100% real. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Then I'm gonna go and grab my Tarte Top Yacht Chrome Paint Pot thingy. I love this for highlighting, for the corners of the eyes, everything. It's so good. And we're just gonna go right in here with it. Um, I just like the way this works, honestly, and there's nothing that blings better than this, really. You can get your brush wet or not. If you do get your brush wet, it's like way more intense. I'll just, pss, pss. I totally missed the brush, but here we go. Um, whenever you put wetness on it, as you can see right there, it just like, whoosh. it's like, I'm here, I'm here. And we like that. All right. I'm just going to go back over here and we're going to lighten that part of the eye up. So pretty. I have glitter all in my fucking eyes. Huda, you got to come up with the better glitter recipe thing. I got to blend that out. Sorry. That's hurting my eye there. More better. All right, so we've already done, um, what is it? Everything, I've already done the rest of my face. I've already done all my other highlighting. I've done everything. So basically, like this is the look. We did a little bit of highlight right here with our Amrezy. Am I saying that right? I don't know. But today I used the Huda palette. <sighs> totally pretty, I like this. This is only the second time I've really used it. Um, I think the glitters could have been done better, but didn't she just remaster a palette and like everybody's going nutso? By the way, I got on Sephora last night because I was going to put the new remastered one like in my box. And they were like, yeah, I can't do that. Doesn't exist here. And I'm like, what happened? So if you guys know what happened, why did they pull it? Like what's going on? Let me know. I would be intrigued to know the truth about that. Now I'm going to go in with my Marc Jacobs and I'm just going to go in my bottom waterline here. And this is the color black. I don't typically do this, but I've really started to lately with the darker color in my waterline. Um, I usually do the white, but for some reason I've been really vibing on the black. And I also did the top of my waterline with this as well. I feel like I'm missing a little bit of color here. I know you guys are like, damn, this is a 23 minute, 25 minute long. Yeah, it is. And I'm gonna let you go in just a minute, okay? Oh, okay. All right. Now then, we're gonna use a Kat Von D um, liner. So let me grab that one. We're gonna use the brown. And of course, we're gonna go here with the mirror because when you have a hooded eye, you wanna make sure that you get it really, really close and tight to the eyelash line and I just got a new one of these but I don't know if this is the new one or not to be honest but it's really 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 the best to do the top liner on a hooded eye because look at how like close that it gets and if I didn't have it that close, then what I do have on my lid would completely disappear. So, thank you to Kat Von D for her amazing eyeliner. I'm just going to go in here on the other eye. I'm literally drawing on my eyeball if you saw that. Epic fail. Okay. And this is usually the eye I mess up on. So I have to come at it from like the weirdest angles. I'm right-handed, so working on the left side is like, I'm feeling not so smart. I'm feeling very special, and I'm really fucking up here, so. Let's just go in without the big-ass mirror and try to redeem this. 
outside of my eye with liner. We're going to have to come up some more over here to compensate for what I completely screwed up over there. But that's the beauty of makeup. You can just square it up and fix it with something else, right? Alright, and once you get your eyeliners even, voila. I never finish my eyes with you guys, so I really want to go ahead and show you like how I do my lashes every day. Um, and I use this Lash Booster by Lancome, I think. C-I-L-S Booster XL. It's like a primer, conditioner, and um, it really like makes your eyebrow, or not your eyebrows, but your eyelashes strong, um, conditioned, and just so healthy. I love this stuff, like with passion. All right, next I go in with my unique Epic Moonstruck Mascara. We'll just fan that for a second. <laughs> Get through that. I have a ton of mascaras in my drawer, but I have my three like holy grails that I use and Unique is number one on that list so just a heads up. Um, the Epic Mascara is 24 bucks, and um, I'll list the link down below so that you guys can go get it if you want some Unique Mascara. Um, they also have a 3D fiber one where it's like you do the mascara like the wet part and then um, you do like a, a little fiber obviously. It's like made out of green tea and it's super um, vegan, cruelty free, made in America. That's the pitch, all right? Um, and just one coat you guys can see is like totally amazing. I don't really need anything else, but uh, I'll just fix it when I'm done. So I'll probably get it on there again and warm it. We're going at 30 minutes here, but I have completed an eye look in under 30 minutes, which is like kind of unheard of at my house. Yeah. And I've still got like 30 minutes till I have to leave for my appointment, so I've done really good today. Tomorrow I will be doing the Instagram uh, followers picked my makeup, so go over there, J80 Cahill, and check it out. Vote and be a part of the process. Um, yeah. So there's that. And then I will be doing the um, do-it-yourself ring light this week, too. So you guys are going to get a bunch of videos from me now that I'm home. I wanted to get back on track. The second one that I use is Drugstore. It's L'Oreal. It is Telescopic Carbon Black. I got this at my local Walmart. I got it at the neighborhood Walmart, to be exact. Um, this stuff lengthens um, in a way that I just cannot explain. And the color of black that it is, I just feel like it's so flattering. Oh my god, did that really just fucking happen? Shut the fuck up. Oh, I want to punch myself in the throat sometimes. It's so stupid. I had a wet one. There it is. Oh my gosh. It's just like, come on, dummy. Now where's the palette? Son of a biscuit! Alright, we'll go in with Eden. And we'll touch that up. I guess it's good to see like how to uh, fix whatever you screw up. And yeah. So there's that. I'm so annoyed with myself. And I'm just gonna... I have a freckle right there too, so it kind of looks like it's my freckle, but um, I got all the mascara off. Yay, it's a party now. All right. Back to the telescopic that I got at Walmart. It's kind of a pricier um, mascara to get at Walmart, but it just really lengthens up, and the color is really great. All right, next... We'll try not to get this on my eye over here and flunk it up. I hope that the sound has been super good. And let me know if you guys like it better than my other videos and I will keep using it. Dun 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 dun. 
I also like the way that it gets the bottom lashes because my bottom lashes are getting so long thanks to Unique Lash Serum and the, um, it's a La Grande. It comes in like a gold tube lash serum. So one goes like on the, like eyeliner wood. Um, and the Unique goes like actually on my lashes and the two together, like I can't even tell you in the last six months, six to eight months, my lashes have gotten so long that I like never wear falsies anymore. I don't see the point. If mine are that long, why would I put all that lash glue and bullshit all over my eyes? I wouldn't. That's why. Alright, and this last mascara that I'm using is by IT Cosmetics, and it's called Superhero. Um, it's like the elasticity of this. I don't know what it is, but I just love it. I love the way that it looks. And it just packs on top of the other one so well and makes them look so good. And then I always go back with my Unique because the brush on this is fucking phenomenal. It separates, it lengthens, it curls, it just does like a fucking party to my eyelashes. It loves them, it hugs them, and it tells them, you're perfect. And you know, a lady likes to hear that. My lady tells me that all the time, and she's perfect too. None of us are perfect, but I sure do love her. And yeah, so that's it. And then I'm gonna let them dry for just a second, and we're gonna curl them. Yes, I curl them last. But what lip are we gonna wear? Well, I got some L'Oreal Lip Lacquer from Ulta. And look at all that lash in there. It's so much lash. It's like, yes girl, yes. And then they curl up like a regular, like wispy eyelash would. So what's the point even wearing a fakie? Okay, so I really love this color, um, Exposed by Tarte. Now, they put this out with their mermaid collection and said, it's limited edition. I hate to break this to you guys, but it's not. It's in their regular line and you can go and look. And I was pissed when I found that out because I was like, rush to get it. I'll never be able to get it. It's the same fucking color they've had all along. Now, the little glossy one isn't. They put out the new glossy one with the mermaid collection. And you do, you do, you do. I have plenty of glosses. I don't need that one. I'm going to go back in and curl them just a little bit more. But you have to be careful when you have mascara on and you go to curl them that you don't cut them off. I've done that before, okay? Don't push hard. That's my best advice. I love Haterade. I just feel like I don't know if I want my lips to steal the show and my eyes to do that. Um, and then I have this beautiful lip lacquer in coral. I think this is going to be the one. Glossy, hydrating, high shine. They're not super long wear, but it does feel really good. I think the other one that I might have picked, if I was going to pick a different one, would have been the Huda Beauty Bougie, but I think this one's better. I think it's more summertime, and I just am feeling this one today. So, last but not least, but I don't have my bag right now, so I'm going to have to use a different one. I mix in one of these, um, the Unique. Uh, setting spray and the Too Faced setting spray. I love to mix them together. Um, the smell, the feel, the wearability, like the, it's so wonderful. Now, I hate this one because you have to like lift the cap up. In between uses. And that's just a pain in the ass. And that's why I put them in the other container because that's a pain in the ass. And the unique one is really big and it's good for the price. Um, and I gotta hold way back on this one because my sprayer is totally fucked. And again, that's why I mix them. Um, but yeah, and now we're gonna take our mirror and I literally hit myself in the jaw one day with this and it hurt so fucking bad. So be careful. Um, and yeah. Alright. I think my video may have cut into two, so I hope not, but I have an app to fix that, and we'll just upload it that way. Alright, so that's it. Let your setting spray dry. 
And then if you want to add um, a little more glitz as far as highlight goes, knock yourself out. Today I used the Kevin Aquan Highlighting Trio. And now that my cheeks are wet, I'm going to go in with just a little bit more here on top. And go underneath the eye and just kind of rub away anything that might have fallen there. And that's it. This is my look. This is the Desert um, Palette by Huda Beauty. And I'm done here. So, um, give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see more like it. And be sure to head on over to my Instagram and vote for my makeup for my Get Ready With Me Instagram Pick My Makeup movie, movie video tomorrow. And yeah, stay tuned for that DIY ring light. And you guys have such a good day. Do good, be good, you are good. I'm done here. I love you.